first two sessions. There's no breaks of throw in the opening five legs here. Gary averaging 97, Phil averaging a ton. 131. Yeah, and as just before they went off for a break, Phil hit the double, didn't he, with the second dart. And the last dart, he kind of petulantly just threw it at the board as if, I'm not happy with this. Uh, I don't know what he was kind of whinging about because averaging 100 like he, like he was. Maybe he was just saying to Gary, I can get a lot better than this. We know he can. I think he just perhaps feels it was a little bit rough around the edges in those first 99. five legs for his own perfectionist standards. Stupidly high standards. Incredible standards. 100. Only 102 average. Currently his lowest match average of this year's Grand Slam. 112, 104, 100. 104. So this is poor. <laughs> Long way to go though, isn't that? Plenty of twists and turns here. Well, especially with Gary as well. You know he's going to go for a, a spell of maybe just be a couple of minutes or five, ten minutes of pure brilliance because that's what he does. Unless Phil can get on top, really on top within the next few legs and put Gary under all the pressure in the world. Nice dance from Gary Anderson leaving tops. One or two, well, it's actually three times now. When Phil was it a 60 and then Gary the second dart? 40. It's kind of a flat dart into, into the single yeah, one. Gary Anderson! Three apiece. Right, Gary Anderson first. waits no time. Game on. With the next leg after the break, holding his throw. Well, three all. Plenty for Phil to think about. Here, being made to work hard for the first time in the Grand Slam. 180 for the power. Gary knows when Phil starts hitting the 140s, 180s. He's just got to stick with him as best he can. And Gary. Also knows that, as you can see, the double percentage. If Gary can stick to that, keep to that, he'll have a chance because we know he can score. And Phil knows that also. 46. Surely Taylor on his way to 4 3. Lovely start. 100. Only 100. Still well in control of the leg. If Gary hits a 60 here. Well, he was looking for a 60. He may have then gone for a bullseye or semi-bullseye. Which would have left the finish. Phil wants 1-2-1. One, one. Gary missed a double 14 earlier, didn't he? He'll stay there for the 60. 9 89. to leave 32. Yeah, so it's looking like it's going according to form here. Gary switching across just in the off chance that Phil doesn't take this out. He has missed it before in his he career. Not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you just knew that, didn't you? The, as I said before, the way he'd thrown the first couple of times at it, there was uh, there was room for Gary to think, do you know what, he might miss. 7 one eight. He's 4 to Phil, 3 to Gary. What a standard so far! Gary averaging 105, Phil 104. Eighth leg of the game. Fantastic standard. 100. I think Gary looks really focused. I, I, I really do. Not only is he, he playing well, but he, he looks like he's playing well. You, you just don't feel that Gary Anderson is going to all of a sudden go 100. off the boil, which sometimes you've got to say that some of the darts are a bit... They're thrown in a, in a flimsy manner. They're, they're not. They're thrown with uh, a bit of venom, a bit of aggression. He's in the zone, playing as well as he ever has done in a game like this. And still we wait for a break of throw. 95. Gary, Gary in control to level at four apiece. Here's no 
trouble Gary! whatsoever. Phil Taylor knows he's no, in a match. He um, hasn't been in too many recently, is he? They've all been kind of walkovers. No offence to the players he's played, but they've let him steamroll of them. Gary's having none of it. 58. Only 58. Now, can Gary get a big score here? He's switching down the board. Oh. Well, he can't find a treble either. Before the break, Phil had the darts kicked off 45, Gary 60. Similar kind of situation. As you can see, not a lot in it really. Still below his brilliant best. Still, Gary Anderson playing quite beautifully. Can he hit a fourth? 180! There's your answer! Right on cue! Gary Anderson supporters will be happy with that. The timing as well. 100. Well, I just wonder, can we see a break of throw in Gary's favour here? Never write Taylor off, but he is playing extremely well and giving Mr. T plenty to think about. Going into the 2011 World Championship final, Gary was playing undoubtedly the best darts of that event, and it took an absolute brilliant performance. But you see a fifth 180 from Phil, from Adrian Lewis, to stop Gary being world champion. It wasn't Gary getting beat because he couldn't finish the job. It was Adrian Lewis's brilliance 96. why he didn't win that match. Louis Aguirre, 64. Well, to hold his throw. 16. Gets it. Just when Gary Anderson had a little, a little chance to break the throw, Phil bounced back. 5-4, Taylor leads. Yeah, Phil knew, Phil knew that that hurt. 99. Because halfway through that leg, Gary definitely had the, the beating of Phil in that particular leg. But the 180 changed it all, didn't it? Nine 180s. 103 average for Taylor. 106 for Anderson. What a match! Only against Phil Taylor could you be averaging 106 and be le be losing, be, be behind. That's his fifth. He's matched Taylor where that's concerned. We did say before the game if Gary Anderson could stay with Phil Taylor for the first two sessions of this match, he's got a chance. And so it's proved to be. A rare poor dart, and not so rare quality dart. 77. This match is just littered with with trebles and everything that you'd want to see from two high class operators. That's not good thinking at all from Phil Taylor. He's going for the 19. He had to hit the treble. Oh, he's hit the treble first time. And Phil's not at a finish, so... 85. Anderson's going to be back to level it. We'll be under pressure for that 60. What pressure? How much? Try loads. 137. Typical Taylor. Gary requires 60. Now, Gary. 15 for tops. This is a big shot all of a sudden. 40. Well, you said it, Wayne. How much pressure? 70. Loads. And that's exactly what Phil did. Well, the reason he missed that big 20, for just my thinking, was that he didn't want to block it, move over and make a hard work of it. As it turns out, it become nearly impossible for him. Deserting 32. Deserting 32. Phil Taylor won the first mini-session. 3-2. Phil Taylor wins that mini session 3 2. That equates to a 6 4 lead. Gary Anderson is averaging more than Phil Taylor. 
still involved in a match here. He's not going to roll over the Scots.